scratch the surface thing. God is looking for people bold enough to stand up and say, I believe God. I don't care what I see. I don't care what I feel. I don't care what I hear. I believe God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Why well, in Ephesians, look in 3, chapter 3, verse 20. Now unto him that is able. Well, that's where most people stop. God is able. They hear people re religiously say, God is able. <laughs> yeah, but does he do it for you? I know he's able. Everybody knows he's able. Yeah, yeah. I need to see victory. I need to see results. I need to see manifestation. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. Now unto him. That is able to do what? Exceeding abundantly above all that you can ask or think. That's right. <laughs> That's right. According to the power that works in us. Hallelujah. Now let me just quickly go over these scriptures real quick. Now you don't have to turn there. Second Corinthians 4 7 says, We have this power in earth and vessels. Okay? We have this power on earth in these earth and vessels. Zechariah 4 6 says, And not by might nor by power, but by my spirit. In other words, it's not by your might, not by your natural power, but by his spirit, which is the power. Jesus told him in Luke 24, 49, wait until you be endued with power from on high. Yeah. Acts 1 8 says, You shall receive power. After that, the Holy Ghost. Yeah. Come on. Oh. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I tell you, saints, we've got to go after this power. Yeah. we got to pursue it. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. You know, you can wait on God to fall on you, and He may do it. But I can tell you this if you'll pursue Him, you'll find Him. Yeah. If you'll seek after Him, you'll find Him. Yes, it will. Hallelujah. It's kind of like hit and miss. If I just think God's going to do it all for me. Now, God has already done it. He's waiting on you to exercise some faith and take hold of it. Glory to God. I'll, I want to, I'll just close with Ephesians chapter 3. Hallelujah. In verse 7. I'll try to see you. Where I was made a minister according to the gift of the grace of God given unto me by the effectual working of his power. Now look at the scripture here with me. Hallelujah. Then I'll we'll, we'll let you go. Maybe. It says, Whereof I was made a minister, a servant, according to the gift of the grace. You see, it's grace. All this blessings, these benefits, all this is great. I didn't deserve it. I don't deserve it. You don't deserve it. But God did it anyway. Anyway. Thank you, Lord. But here it is. It says, verse 7. I made a minister according to the gift. Grace is a gift. Gift of grace of God given unto me. How? By the effectual working of his power. In other words, by the effective working of his power. In other words, his power is effective in our lives. Hallelujah. If it wasn't effective, you wouldn't be in this service. You sure wouldn't have made it this far. That shows it's effective in your life. It wants to be more effective. Hallelujah. I tell you what. You don't never have to be sick another day in your life. You don't never have to be broke another day in your life. Whatever the devil has been trying to tell you, it's a lie. You have inherent in you resurrection power, miracle power to deal with it, to get rid of it. Hallelujah. It's grace. Amen. It's not that you're good enough. It's not that you can get good enough. It's grace. Yes, it is. By faith. Yes. 
and believe in you. Let's pray. Father, we love you. Thank you for your power tonight. Today. Thank you, Lord. You never leave us or forsake us. Thank you, Lord. Thanks be unto God who always causes us to triumph. Always. Always. Thank you, Lord. You made us more than conquerors in Christ Jesus, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, there's therefore now no condemnation to us who are in you, Lord. We walk after the Spirit and not after the flesh. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. This is the confidence we have in you, Lord, that if we ask anything according to your will, we know you hear us. Lord, we know if you hear us that we have those petitions we desire. Them. Thank you, Lord, that as we abide in you and your words abide in us, we ask what we will and it is done. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus, for the power of the resurrection. Draw us unto you, Lord. Draw us closer. Reveal yourself in a more real way, Lord. In truth and understanding, Lord. Lord, thank you that we're doers of your will, expelling deception in every way. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. We're a hungry people to go further with you. Lord, that we might manifest your glory in a lost and dying world, that people will come to know you, Lord God, because of the miraculous. Because of you're real, Lord. We want to show them you're real. We know it, but we want them to know it. Oh, Father, we love you. We praise you. We worship you. We adore you. We offer ourselves afresh and anew to you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name. While your heads are bowed, catch there's someone here today that's never experienced this power.